Wow. It's like this is like the ancient remnants of a fire pit. It's actually a fire pit. You can see the circles of stones. There's ferns over it and everything. I kind of just stumbled across it here near my parents' property. Um, pretty close to the edge of the woods. And you can also tell because of the telltale cinder blocks. As you can see, are covered in moss. And there's some others over here. In a plastic bag, but clearly no one's been here for a while. Something witchy must have happened here. Definitely. As you can tell by these, the way these two old little trees branches are just kind of up there like that and kind of a Blair Witch sort of symbolism. This is a pretty, actually, uh, creepy place. A little patch of woods to shoot a horror movie, in my opinion. Of course, every patch of woods looks kind of creepy to shoot a horror movie, but this is because there's not a lot of leaves and um, a lot of pine trees. <laughs> What's happening? It's the evil bed. See? And what did that cost me? Nothing. So, um, it's just off the edge of um, my folks' land. In, uh, in uh, northeastern PA, in a place called Quiggleville, and um, there's ducks around too, ducks nearby, or chickens, I don't know. And, um, and up here I'm going to uh, show you the wall, the wall that borders the property, so uh, eat your heart out Donald Trump. at the creek. And this is where the smiley face killers left my boy. <laughs> That's terrible. That's very insensitive to me. And this is the uh, creek in Quiggleville. End of the wall. I'm on the other side of the property. In the woods, kind of the edge of the woods. This is the furthest end where it, for the most part, is just kind of up there. It's mostly like collapsed just towards the corner of the property. Um, and but I couldn't tell you how, you know, it's hard to tell what time frame it was built or anything like that. And there's more uh, sections of it that seem a little more complete or of what it might have looked like. Um, parts of it seem to serve more of as a retaining wall for the ground or the soil behind it at the edge of the field, but this this be, well, a wall. Probably built in the early 19, late 18, who knows, you know, I didn't carbon date, or <laughs> not carbon date, but I don't, obviously not very, well, not, not a lot of well-kept records back then. And this is the other end of the wall, heading towards the road. It's far more built up, and I think it served kind of as a retaining wall, in part, you know, if the river overflows for the creek. Um, and it goes to about the bridge. And I think this might have been maybe maintained a little better because it did serve as, um, Kind of a dike. But yeah, the big ominous wall as you come into Quiggleville. It's mostly hidden by trees. And I don't know if it's, um, if it was served as both that purpose and as a, you know, to designate the property line. But it's kind of cool looking at this end. It looks like actually, you know, it looks like kind of a medieval ancient sort of wall in a way. So it's going a little far it's like medieval ancient wall but it does kind of look a bit like that kind of just big ass tree here it goes three trunks tree but yeah it goes goes a ways down there to the uh to the bridge and that's the history of the Quiverville wall well I don't know what, anything about it so it's not really the history my best guess. It's shrouded behind jaggers and bushes. 
or by the way, a pitch to get out of. That is, it's just stuff covered by leaves and branches and everything. But I'm leaving, I'm getting out of here, I'm getting back home. See ya.